Welcome back to Virtual Tables YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna to be meal prepping for six lunches I'm gonna have this week and I'm gonna to try to do it in under 30 minutes So I'm gonna show you a quick and easy method while keeping the food delicious. Let's get started Let's get our oven preheated to 400. That's not it 400 the next thing I'm gonna do is get the rice and quinoa started So the quinoa I'm gonna do one cup. That's one cup toss it in this one See, I'm gonna turn on the heat to get it toasted and white rice. Here I have Nishiki rice. With the rice, I'm gonna do one and one half cups of it. I'm gonna pop it in the second one. I will be adding two cups of water to the rice, and I'll give that a stir in a bit. And I'll be adding two cups of chicken stock to the quinoa. See, I can't have too much of white rice. I'm limiting myself to only two meals a week. I decided to stop having white rice as often as I did in my meals. So a great alternative I found was quinoa cooked in chicken stock. I'm gonna bring them both on high to get them boiling. I'm gonna turn it down to low to simmer for 15 minutes. Okay, these are ready to be left alone. I just have to wait for the boil. So this takes 15 minutes. Now we're gonna knock out the step that takes 20 minutes. I'm gonna get an oven tray. I'm gonna line it up with foil. So in this pan, I'm gonna be adding frozen meatballs, 10 for one meal and 10 for the other meal. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, we have our meatballs, put, put one back. The oven is ready for us at 400. I'm gonna bake these both at 400. And the second one being the lightly breaded chicken breast chunks. These are just about bigger than the meatballs. So I will probably go eight pieces each. Eight, nine, 10. Okay, we have our tray ready to be popped. Oh, oh no, overflow, put on low, oh no. Okay, so the rice, I'll put that on low, we're good. Quinoa is boiling as well, put that on low. I'll set a timer for 15 minutes. This is ready to be popped in. So we're gonna do this, and bake it for 20 minutes. We'll cook the vegetables in a bit, but we have one more step we need to do. My next step, I'm gonna take this chicken brine I made it earlier today, and I'm gonna drain it into this pot. It might overflow, but that's okay. Drain all the chicken wings out of there. That's to not make a mess. There it is. Here's our chicken wings. Oh, here I have another tray, and we're gonna line it up with oil. Foil. And also touch it up with a bit of oil. I forgot what this thing is called, but I definitely need it. Then, it's time to start patting these things dry. Now this is protein number three out of three. And for these, I'm gonna have seven wings each. So I'm gonna put these in the oven under a broil and I'm gonna broil them for 10 minutes each side. Our timer just went out for the rice and quinoa. I'm gonna turn those off and I'm gonna fluff them in a bit. All right, rice is done. Ooh, perfect. And for the stir fry vegetables, I don't have to measure it exactly. I just gotta eyeball it and see what I can eat for two meals. Simple as that. Save you some time for measuring, and I would say, yeah, that's two meals right there. I don't know how long it's taken so far. Uh, I think it's been, I think it's been 20 minutes. I think we'll hit 30 minutes. But at this stage, the rice is done, the meatballs is pretty much done, vegetables is almost done, chicken wings are almost done, and there's our timer. I'm gonna take the quinoa and the rice. It's time to start weighing them. That's hot, that's hot, that's hot. Ooh, that's hot. I need better angle on this. Five ounces. Golden beauties. Okay, yeah, that's good. First things first, food safety. We check the internal. 195. We're good. Shout out to Red Hot for making pre-made buffalo sauce so I don't have to make it myself. <laughs> I spilled, but that's okay. It was only a drop. Quinoa 
quinoa is in, the rice is in. Next up is vegetables. Starting with the stir fry. Take half of this, add it in. Balance it out a bit. So I think I counted seven per meal. So that's four, five, six, and get a flat in there. Seven. Take turns between containers. That's two. Wait, why am I counting? And where should this go? Let's put it evenly. Push these off to the side to make room for the meatballs. We're gonna make room again. One, seven, nine, and ten. There it is. There we have it. Beautiful. For a final touch with the meatballs, I like sriracha mayo on it. Don't want too much. You just want a bit of flavor in there. There it is. Six done. I really want to eat one of these. This is freshly cooked and, oh, it smells so good. Now, some of these steps may not have been the ideal way of doing something or preparing something, but I have found all of these to be the most effective for me. And I just wanted to showcase how to make all of these efficiently while keeping them delicious. So that's that. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and comment down below what your meal prep plan is if you have one or comment what you thought about this video. But that's it for me. I'll see you all in the next one.